Hello and welcome everyone. So in this video we are going to look into a step-by-step -step guide using MSIX App Attach to package applications which in short gives us an easy way to um, package apps both old and new and deliver to VDI or RDS environments. So this enables a central reliable solution um, to manage our apps, uh, reducing network bandwidth and disk space optimizations. So MSIX is a form of application virtualization, which we can compare to uh, App V, for example. So today we'll look into how to do this with Windows Virtual Desktop or VWD. We can see from the diagram in the green area highlighted, we are adding Azure files and MSIX packaged applications as mounted VHD disks to our Azure Windows Virtual Desktops. This video is an add-on to previous videos in the channel, like setting up uh, Active Directory Connect Sync from on-premise AD to Azure AD and setting up uh, Windows Virtual Desktop step by step. So if you need to check those videos out first on how to do that, uh, the links are below in the description. So with MSIX App Attach, we don't need to create or update new OS images with our apps installed. We can just package the app and deliver to our existing OS images or session hosts in the form of a mounted virtual hard disk or VHD. So the application is separated from the operating system image where we deliver that application without installing the app or updating the image with our apps. So let's get started and take a look at a step-by-step -step guide how to package up apps for Windows Virtual Desktop. But before we do, please subscribe to the channel for notifications on cloud technical guides and certifications. Thank you very much. So let's take a look at the contents of this video. So we install MSIX application on the Windows 10 v 2004 build. We will package user applications into MSIX format. We'll install a self-signed certificate for our app. We will create and prepare a new VHD uh, hard disk for our application. We will unpack our MSIX application to the VHD for deployment. We will copy that VHD to Azure files for access from WVD session hosts. We will mount the VHD to the RWVD session host for deployment from Azure files. We will run the package app in VWD on a session host and we will run the packaged app in VWD as a remote application. So this build is Windows 10 v 2004, so officially known as uh, the Windows 10 May 2020 update, which has the addition of the MSIX components to use um, MSIX app attached for Windows 10 as part of the uh, Windows Virtual Desktop. So we install MSIX uh, to enable us to package our application on Windows 10 image, join to the domain um, to test the app first before we roll out to uh, VWD. So here we create and install a self-signed certificate for the packaged app to run. So the command is in the description for you to tweak and run for yourself. So once we have created the cert, that will be used when, once we uh, package the app in the next section. So once the cert's created, we can go to MMC. We can add in um, our snap-in certificates, uh, computer account. And then we can take a look in our personal certificate store here. We can see the cert we've created. So we want to export this for the next section. So if we go to all tasks and export, we want to export the public key as well. We want to give it a password. And export to our location for the next section. So we will package Notepad++ and run it within our test environment. Later on, we will create a virtual hard drive um, with this app extracted within it and then mount to our um, Windows Virtual Desktop environment and show uh, a demo run in the app. So if we start our packaging app, we create a new package. 
and then we can disable the below section, click next, choose our package, which is Notepad++ in this case. We choose our certificate that we exported earlier, type in the password. We choose our package name, which is Notepad. Fill in the other sections. So the application will now start the install. If we click next, I'm going to disable any auto updates for the package. Click next. And then finish. So we're happy we've captured everything for the application so we can move on at that point. And then click next. If we create the new package. So the package has been successfully created on the desktop, so we can click close now. So now once that's done, we can double click our application on the desktop and just see if our packaged app works correctly so we can install. And then we can confirm that the application runs correctly. So if we go to add remove programs and then scroll down the applications and features list, we can see the app is installed as a packaged app. Also, if we go to the control panel, go to programs and features, we can see that the application isn't installed as part of the operating system. And we can run PowerShell get Apex package to list the application that we've just installed as a package. OK, so now we are ready to create and prepare a new virtual hard disk for our app. First, we need to download and extract the MSIX app attached tool to enable us to unpack the Notepad MSIX package we created earlier to a VHD. Again, all links are in the description um, below for your convenience. So we've extracted the MSIX app attached tool and we can run the command just to confirm that we've extracted it correctly. Now to enable us to create um, the uh, new VHD, we need to install the, the Hyper-V tools on our, uh, on our VM here. OK, so if we install these uh, tools and services, and that will enable us to run the, the commands the following coming up now. OK, so the first command we run is the create the new virtual hard drive command. So this will create a, a virtual hard drive in the path below, as you can see, with the notepad.vhd extension. We now mount the VHD. We initialize the VHD. We can then partition the VHD and then finally we can format the VHD. So if we now take a look on our VM uh, and go to disk management, we can see that the, the VHD is present there uh, as our E drive and it's all formatted, ready to go. So in the next section, we will unpack our application to the VHD for deployment. OK, so now we can use the, the following command with uh, the MSXI app attached tool we downloaded earlier to enable us to 
unpack the Notepad MSIX package we created earlier to uh, the VHD in the path of e colon uh, backslash Notepad. So let's run that command. So that's now unpacked our uh, application to our virtual hard drive ready for mounting. So the idea being is that uh, VHD file can now be used by our Windows Virtual Desktop session host uh, to mount our application. We'll use a series of PowerShell scripts explained in the next section to mount um, that VHD file on our Windows Virtual Desktop hosts. Before we do, we use the mount vol command to find our GUID to place in the mount VHD PS1 script. Links to these scripts are provided in the description, but we'll show how to use them in the next section. So we go to uh, Azure Files and we create a, an Azure file share and upload all our scripts um, so the Windows Virtual Desktop session hosts can access these. We copy and run the commands as shown to connect to our Azure file share from our WVD session hosts. So let's now log into our Windows Virtual Desktop session hosts, and then we can run the PowerShell scripts to mount uh, the VHD we created earlier and then run our application. So we are now logged into our Windows 10 VWD session host uh, and connected to the Azure file share where we uploaded the scripts earlier. If we edit the first script, mount vhd.ps1, and we can see the location of the file and we will mount um, is a notepad.vhd we created earlier. The GUID is also in place from the mount vol command. These scripts will typically be run as a login script to mount each time the user logs in. The scripts are provided in the description together with the official Microsoft documentation links to support the scripts. So now we've run the mount uh, script, um, we will take a look in disk management to see if our volume is now mounted. As you can see, it's mounted as disk two. The next script we run is the register app.ps1 script, which registers the package name and path against the app manifest.xml file. And then just to confirm before we run the app in the next section, we can go to the control panel within this session host and just have a look to see which apps um, are installed locally in programs and features. As we can see, we don't see a notepad plus plus installation here at all. To enable the app to run successfully, we will need to import the certificate um, into the local store we created earlier on for this session host. So if we run the import now into the trusted people store and then click finish to import. Okay, so now we mounted the VHD and imported the certificate, we can now run the Notepad++ application. You can also run the mounted application as a remote app, which gives us the ability to just see the app icon in the WVD portal and run it instead of the full desktop. So within the Azure portal, we go to uh, Windows Virtual Desktops and Application Groups, click the application group where we want to publish a remote app, click Add, uh, choose the application source as a file path, add the application path, also add the application name and icon path as shown. And once that's done, we can then click save. So now when we log into our WVD portal, we can see the Notepad++ icon and then we can run the application direct from the portal.
So thank you very much for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel to receive updates on new videos posted weekly. All the very best. Take care and see you in the next video. Bye for now.